Today, I am going to make one of the most delicious lobster tail that you'll ever taste. I am making these garlic butter lobster tail. I have this creamy garlic mashed potatoes to go along with it. Let's not waste no time, let's get to cooking. So we're going to start with the potatoes first because that is going to take a while. So grab yourself a potato peeler and start peeling it. All righty. All right, that is done. These are russet potatoes. I love using these for mashed potatoes. They're not as starchy, so I like to use these. Now we're going to cut the potatoes. I like to cut them like this. That way they will cook faster. And I try to cut them about the same size because they will cook at the same time. And it's very easy to make mashed potatoes at home. Surprisingly, very easy. I like to give these a couple wash, just to wash the starch. Alrighty. Okay, now we're going to add in the potatoes. I have my water in here already. Add your potatoes in. Now I'm going to add a little bit of salt to your taste. And also I like to add some garlic in there, make it nice and garlicky. Then we're going to cover this. It should take about 10 minutes to cook. While that is cooking, we are going to move on to the lobster tail, so let's get that going. I love adding lemon to any seafood that I'm eating, so we're going to squeeze two lemon juice in there. Alrighty, just catch the seeds. We don't want those. Now you can use a lemon squeezer if you want, but why not just use my hand? Alrighty, this is about one third cup of lemon juice, all right? Now, let's set this aside because we'll use it later. We are going to move on to our lobster tail. So, I'm going to remove these. Now, we're going to cut the lobster tail straight in the middle. So now, we're going to season a little bit of olive oil on the lobster, rub it in. I have three different seasonings here. I have a tablespoon each, paprika, Old Bay, and as well as some lemon pepper. I'm just going to mix them together. That way they can be well incorporated. So now, Let's season, use our fingers. I love lobster tails, especially when I was pregnant with my first. I used to eat lobster tails all the time. That used to be my to-go seafood. Until this day, I still love lobster tail. And let's give that a little bit of rubbing to make sure the seasoning really get in there. These are about to be so tasty. All right, let's set this aside. Then we're going to cut the onions and the parsley. Let's chop these because we're going to use the parsley and the lobster. I don't need that much, just a little bit. Parsley will add a nice, fresh, herby flavor to our lobster tails. The onion, you want to slice them or dice them very fine. Then 
that is nice and done. And now we are going to cook these lobster tails, all right? Let's check on these potatoes to make sure they're not overcooked. All right, they look like they're ready. I'm about to drain the water and we'll cook the lobster and then we can make the mashed potatoes, okay? Ooh, that is hot. Let's set that aside. Alrighty, about medium high heat should do it. I'm using unsalted butter because I don't want too much salt in there. We're using the Obey, the lemon pepper, which has a lot of salt already. So we're going to let that melt. We're going to add the lobster tail face down. The butter just touched the lobster and you can smell all of the seasoning already. This is bringing memories, okay? The smell, ooh. We're going to let these cook for about three minutes, then flip them over. It's looking good and it's smelling good already. Come over here, the lobsters are ready to be flipped. They are looking so gorgeous. The aroma in here is to die for. Oh my goodness. Flip them over. I'm going to add in the onion and as well as the parsley. Ooh, looks so good. Parsley in there. All right. And also, I'm adding a little bit of garlic in there. Who doesn't like garlic, right? So let's add that in. Ooh, looks good. All right, now I'm pouring in the lemon juice. Oh my goodness. It looks so good and smell amazing. Whew. Now, if you like a little bit of heat, you can add some cayenne pepper in here, but the Old Bay seasoning has a, a kick, a little bit of kick, so you don't need that much pepper in here. Oh, it looks good and smell good as well. And basically it is done. We don't want to overcook the lobster tail. Perfectly done and smelling amazing. The sauce, cannot wait to try these. I know they are so tasty. Set these aside for now. We're going to move on to the mashed potatoes, all right? For my mashed potatoes, I'm going to slightly turn on the heat because we're going to add the cold butter and as well as the heavy cream that is cold as well. So put it on low and we are going to add butter. I'm using about three tablespoons of butter in there. It's going to be nice and buttery. And keep in mind, we added garlic in here, so it's already garlicky, okay? So add that in, and we are going to mash it now. As you can see, the potatoes are nicely cooked, perfectly cooked. Add a little bit of heavy whipping cream, just a little bit. Mix it up. Butter is melting nicely. Add a little bit of the cream in there. We are going to add some salt in there as well. So just don't add it yet, okay? Now I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of salt to your taste. Give it a stir. Now's the perfect time to taste it because you don't wanna add too much salt. It's better to have less than more salt because you can always add more, why not? 
Mm. Creamy. Oh, and garlicky too. Love, love, love that. Your mashed potatoes are done. That easy. Now, let's plate this food. They look so good. Let's put this on top like this. My mouth is watering. Let's just put some lemon slices on there. Not that we need it because there's enough lemon juice in there. And just to garnish a little bit of this parsley. Don't it look good? I know you see how delicious this is looking. And basically you guys, this, this is the dish. It looks absolutely beautiful and it smells amazing. This is it you guys, it looks absolutely beautiful and it smells amazing. I cannot wait to dive in and eat, okay? The lobster tails were so delicious. It has the perfect amount of lemon juice. It balanced the sweetness from the lobster so well. And let me tell you, it was not spicy, but it has a kick from the Old Bay, just so on point. I will see you guys on the next episode. Bye guys.